Bob's first A fleet race, Saturday, June 1st. Bob Lewis, what happened, Bob? You got a bad boat mechanic. You should fire him. <laughs> All right, big win. The carnage has already started. Everybody's in B fleet, B rig for the most part. I think almost everybody's in B rig. A couple guys tried a fleet, a rig, and the B fleet, but uh, most have switched to B now. I'm supposed to build all day. I'm feeling good. I didn't go to the bars last night. Maybe I can formulate a sentence. Uh, so we had up win. Mark Galson out front. Sean Fiddler competing right alongside him. Marks in 5.5 five boat. So everybody tacks on the starboard. Got a little more room to tack on the starboard today. Sean. Fiddler coming in. Tony tacking under Sean. Hoping for some lift. Hoping nobody shuts the door on him. He makes it. Looks like Mark Galson. 5.5 five first. Sean Fiddler out of Michigan 91. Vickers boats out front. Followed by the Rockstar. Followed by the Vente and another Vente. Or no, Sedici. Look at Jim. Woo. Jim Sears in the 74 boat had a puff, rocketed up in fifth place. As the rest around the marks, we go for a jog. There's skippers. There's boats. Um, I go, I was running by the pool again. George uh, criticizes my running technique. Not bad for an old man. Ah, what was going fast downwind? Looks like Mark Collison coming to first. Skipper's running, cameraman's running. Looks like Mark rounds first, Sean Fiddler second. Boy with the dream, Jim Shears in third. 74 boat. Tony Gonzalez in the 31 yellow boat. And fourth, and the crowd favorite, Steve Landau, number 12. Rocketing upwind on the inside. He does some synchronized tacking. Head back up wind for the second time. Mark Galson covering the whole fleet. Sailing some good angles. Longer course today. My run is taking longer. With the shaky camps. Better. Let's post up. Try to help out the motion sickness. It's Mark Galson, the 5 5 boat coming right at us. Jim Sears in the 74 blue boat. Sadichi. Barry Donaher sailing a vente. I think I. Called it a Brit pop all day yesterday, but he's in a Vente in the 27 boat, B rig. Mark tacks on to starboard. Because Mark reads all the how to win RC sailing books he can. And they say always approach Mark's on starboard, so Mark does that. Obviously, everybody else didn't read the book because they're all coming in on port. Got Tony Gonzalez up high. And we're going to fight, no communication whatsoever, but they can all read each other's minds. They know what's going to happen. Nice orderly mark rounding. Tony Gonzalez has jumped into second, Barry into third. Who's that? Sean Fiddler, rifle back to fourth. Boy of the dream, Jim Shears, 74 boat.
fast boat downwind. You get this little puff. It's passing people downwind. Try some long distance camera action. Because who can run that fast? There's Mark way out in front of the rest of the fleet. A 5-5 boat. Got uh, see Lando on the 12, going straight at the lured marks. Everybody else kind of hanging outside there a little further. Maybe the wind's a little stronger out there. Mark rounds to the outside buoy. like Tony Gonzalez is going to follow suit. The yellow 31 boat going outside to chase Mark down. Sean Fiddler, never follower, always a leader, blazing the trail on the inside. The 91 boat followed by Jim Sears, the 74 boat. And Steve Landau right on his hip. Jim feeling the pressure. Jim won his first race. First IOM event ever race yesterday, and then backed it up with the second one, so that wasn't a fluke. Jim was pretty happy about that. Close to the seawall here. Steve, the first attack away, says, I'm out of here, boys. Jim Sears, Sean following suit. On the same tack as Mr. Gallison now. The 5 5 boat there, still out front. Tony. A bit downwind. Mark's definitely higher on the ladder. Sorry. So let's see. Went upwind, downwind, upwind. So we're just two lapping it today. Or I can't count laps. So Mark sailing away. Boring. Saturday sail all by himself. Get out front, don't let anybody pass you. Battle for second and third is heated up. Sean Fiddler, the 9 1 boat. Tony on his hip there, the 3 1. Jim Sears forced to tack over from Barry. Steve Landau coming up the inside so he can get on starboard. Mark wins. Looks like Sean Fiddler in second. Tony Gonzalez in third. Barry and Jim here for good job guys. Fourth. and fifth. And we got sixth. It's like Jason Rhodes. Getting a little sneaky lift there at the end. He'll take it. Followed by Peter in the 4-4 boat. There's Jerry Warren Brower screams towards the finish line. 4-2, 5-4, 4-8. down there for this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> if they only <clears throat> they only would have built this without the vertical bulkheads. Like some way to not have all the water rebounding. Right. Just rock help for that. Yeah. You have a break water. Yeah. Right. It gets stuck in there. Yeah. It doesn't reverb as much. Yeah. But here it just hits a wall and it's messy here. Yeah. That's what I think. That's my theory anyways self-anointed expert. Alright, and we're off. Head up wind. That's right, I'm gonna slip and break my ass. Yeah, 
everybody heading out on starboard. Don't know what heat race this is. I was bouncing between A and B, so I didn't get to film everything. But, uh, this is an A fleet race. I screwed up my last beef fleet race. Here we go. We got Craig Mackey in the white hole Brit Pop 29 boat up to Basco. Working the shoreline here. Followed by uh, Mark Gallison and Jim Sears here attacking the offshore. A little slower than Mark. Followed by Jaron Warren Brower in the 4 2 boat. Out of Lake Stevens, Washington. We head up. And starboard tackers probably benefiting here. I've seen some ducking going on, some lead bowing, some craziness. It's great make Mackie makes around first. Uh, Steve land out second. Steve shoots in the inside. He's third. Gary Winton, 5-4 boat. Sean Fiddler in the white 91 boat. Mark Galson, 55. Looks like Chuck Mayhew, 20 boat, 11. So I get my, get my jogging in. the uh, other side of the lake here today. Let's come down as Larry stops right in front of me. <laughs> Lured Mark, a lot of mayhem here. Gallison pulls the pin, throws a grenade, Acknowledged. drives through the fleet on starboard, comes out unscathed. These national champions are like Teflon. Can do everything. Looks like Stephen Landau has worked his way up uh, to the front. Larry Grant, 85 boat. Down, powered up, D rig conditions here, Foster City. New tax to starboard. Might have lost a little ground to Steve. Let's see as they cross, Larry gets lifted. Yeah, so Larry's still in the lead. Steve in second. Steve tax. Mark. That was really weird, Larry. You see that? Yeah, you got it right, right behind you. As soon as I got below you, the right in the attack, and you didn't even feel it. There we go. Looks like Larry's going to make it. Windward Mark first, coming in on port. Almost everybody coming in on port. There in the 8-5 boat. First, Mark, or uh, Steve in the 1-2. Sean Fiddler in 91 in the K-2. Hey, wait for me, that's it. Mark Gallison in the 5-5, Craig Mackey in the 2-9. As the leaders head downwind, oh, i got to figure out where to stand around this joint. Jim Sears in the 7-4 boat. There's a 
rest of the fleet slogs on. Steve and Larry and Sean checked out. Take another run. See how steady I can hold the camera and run. It's harder, harder than sailing here. down this time. No steps too much. It's like Larry's still in first in the 8-5 boat, Sean Fiddler in 9-1 going outside. Steve the inside. It's like a little more pressure outside. Sean the 9-1. Let's see where they cross. Chris Sullivan in the 6-2 boat now in the mix. I'm with Jim Sears in 74. Vente. So we head back up wind. Let's relocate again. that. Whew. Long course. I gotta get in shape. You guys can go find me a gym membership. So Sean in the 9-1 boat here. Looks like he's gonna make it there first. I think Larry was in the lead. First lap and second lap for Sullivan, the 62 boat. Going good. Sean makes it there for the finish. Second place. Five, 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 four, three, one. Four, 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 out front, good start. I just had a receiver get wet. I don't think I had my cap on all the way. My radio started glitching out, so I missed the race. Luckily a prepared skipper had a free spare receiver he would give me. Thank you, Jim Sears. Get me on the water, maybe get some good karma out of this race. 
ran across the street to get me a receiver. Let's tack up wind on this first beat. Dawson, 5-5 five, five boat. Steve, land down, 1-2 boat. Up lead. Got uh, Gary Winton and uh, Barry Donna here coming on the inside here on starboard. Mark and Steve on port. When you're out front, you can come in with marks any old way you want. After that, it's a good idea to get on starboard. It's like Larry Grant, 8 5 boat, fifth. And Jim Sears, my savior, giving me a spare receiver. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tony Gonzalez in seventh. And the rest of the Peloton coming through. Head downwind. Uh, let's try the long zoom shot, folks. Keep your old man shaky camera productions. Stay up too late. It's like Mark and Steve heading downwind there. Two of the top sailors in the IOM fleet. Not sure if they're going to monkey with each other. So I think they're both heading to that outer wind lured mark. Here, getting to the extent of my zoom here. Even harder to hold steady. Let's lean against something here. Sorry, folks. Oh, Mark on the outside, Steve on the inside. Tony Gonzalez going to the inside. I know Barry Donaher with 2 7. Steve navigates the downwind boats on starboard. Getting pretty bumpy out there. Always powered bow down, definitely. Shaking around quite a bit. Looking for some power. It's like Steve's on the inside paid off a little bit. Snuck ahead of Mark on that crossing. Tacks on top to cover. It's Mark and Steve head up wind. Everybody going way out there. Way, way out there. There's a bang in the corners, working the edges. Oh boy. Tacked right on top of somebody. Guess they're paying attention. Now they're coming down on them. Lofts them up. Makes them tack. Steve Landau working his way up here. Stay in front of Mr. Golfson. Practicing our cover, cover, cover sailing techniques as he keeps Mark at bay. What happened, Mark? Yeah, Steve went outside. Mark went inside. Steve came out on top. Mark still holding on to second place in the 5 5 boat. Barry Donaher coming in from the, I don't know what direction that is, east side of the lake. World's longest ley line. He nails it perfectly. Nice job, Barry. Barry third, the 27. Chris Sullivan, local sailor. 6'2 boat. Grace, 6'2 group pop. Followed by the other coast. Gary Witten out of Florida. Peter Feldman in the 4'4. He was pretty dominant in the A rig yesterday. Struggling a little today, the B rig. That was the rest of the fleet. New reserve way in. Sean and Jerry. Jerry just makes it around. Sean just makes it around. I'm gonna let Tony and Jim close the gap a little bit. 
So these guys had to really pinch to get around the mark. So they head back downwind. And Steve Landau is basically a whole leg ahead of the fleet. And the zoom's better than me running, folks. We'll see. Steve Landau goes to the inside. Staying away from a lot of it. Now he packs on a starboard. Grit in his teeth. Heading towards the fleet. Mark and Barry. Doing the same thing. Steve tacks back to port. Just going to work this inside lane, looks like. He heads past the start line buoy. A few skippers going to the outside there. Not sure who it is. So I've got a teeny tiny screen. You guys can see on the video. If I zoom way in, who's that? Blue boat. And the green boat somewhere. There it is. Green boat flying up the outside. They might make some gains out there. Like Mr. Landau's heading over there to cover them. He's got a lot of work to do to keep these guys behind him. But I think he's going to do it. Let's see though, some of these guys come in from another zip code over there. Come in hot, but it still looks like Steve in front. The one two boat. Nice job, Steve. Yeah. Gonna make it in for first on port. Galson's trying not to get hung up on a buoy. Tax to starboard. This mark knows the right tax to be on. Second place for Mark. Five five. Ooh, Peter coming up on the outside. That's who that was, the blue boat. Peter Feldman out there tacking over. Hold on for third. Larry Grant gets a little above him, but Peter squirts above. And Larry, Gary Winton. They're on the load, road left traveled way out there. Chris Sullivan. Oh, we'll shoot for the line. Sean Fiddler. Three, four. These guys get a trip back to B Fleet. Mr. Warren, Mr. Brower, Mr. Rhodes. <coughs> B Fleet's calling your name. You're getting that, your money's worth, Tom. Is that recording? Audio? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Every swear word you say. Holy shit, Batman. <laughs> is out there for the internet to criticize. <laughs> This is the ticket for good, clean fun. Yeah, that's right. And look, the wind just died. Nine. Oh, and we're off. Douche! You say general recall? Son of a... <laughs> I guess I didn't miss it. And we're off. Another A Fleet race brought to you by Dan Sucks and Still Stuck in B Fleet. <laughs> For all the fans out there. Uh, don't choke at yourself, Tom. All right. Looks like the usual suspects up front Peter Feldman, Mark Galson, Sean Fiddler. If you don't know boat numbers by now, who are you? Study up. Got Larry Grant, the 85 boat. 
coming strong, new course, wind shifted, everybody switched to A-rigs, water smoothed out, people ate a bunch of cookies, sugar, sugar levels running high. Let's see what happens as they try to get around this new windward mark. It's like a little bit of a repeat of yesterday. Everybody's going to be fighting for the same hole to get around this windward mark. Peter Feldman, the 44 boat first. Larry Grant, their second. The stall out in front of fast moving boats, which is always a drag. Sean Fiddler right on his tail. I think they call that blocking in NASCAR. But we're not NASCAR. We're sailing model boats. Uh, it's got Peter Feldman out front. Got Sean Fiddler, Larry Grant, Steve Landau. Come down behind. Everybody dutched up. And then the lowly, the one B rig in the fleet. Where is he? Where is he? Craig Mackey hanging on to the B rig, hoping for the big uh, wind to come. As we sail down wind. Oh, big yarn. We start running again. Third gate's way down there. Let's try the little zoom action. It's like Peter Feldman going to the inside, staring at the whole fleet coming down at him. He continues out on uh, port a little further. Attacks on the starboard. Sean Fiddler on his hip. That's some Team Michigan sailing going on there. Watch out for these Michigan boys. There's uh, something going on. They know how to sail. Craig Mackey in the B rig blues, <laughs> trying to blow himself downwind. One of the funniest things in these races is watching people try to decide which rig. So we all watch the good guys, the good guys do something, everybody else follows, and who knows. But water smoothed out, wind shifted over the right, kind of coming behind us. Nah, maybe not the best angle right now, kind of getting downright drifty. Am I, am I back in Seattle? I think I uh, if I wanted this, I would have stayed at home. All right, that was a little lull, but now I filled in. Peter on starboard, Sean on starboard. Got Larry Grant on port. Yellow boat, not sure who it is. Probably uh, uh, oh, Tony Gonzalez, 31 boat. A few yellow boats out there. I got a yellow boat at home, but it's not an IOM. Downright drifty, we did all morning in B-Rig. It's kind of opposite of what we should be doing here. Sean and Peter duke it out up into this mark. Peter gets some lift, Sean right behind him. And so we head around the windward mark, or windward mark. A lot faster action. Looks like uh, Tony Gonzalez is in third in the 31 boat. Chuck and Larry getting a little antsy with each other. A little handsy, as they call it. 
little twitchy. Maybe some seizures going on at our age. You never know. Oh boy, there's a big port. Port Tack and Lenny Bowes. One, two, three. That's good. Good job, Lenny. <laughs> Oh boy, but we all make mistakes. We've all been there. So penalty turns in order. So we head back down. Jason just broke a shroud. A quick repair, got in back in the mix. Alright, there's some zoomage. Alright, there's Peter. Peter out front, the Drifty Drifties, Tony Gonzalez, trying to find some wind. Sean Fiddler looked like he might have squeaked ahead of Peter on that downwind. I was watching the kerfuffle up here. Sean goes to the inside. Peter go. Peter going to the outside. This should be interesting. Looks like smooth glassy water on the inside. No extra pressure on the outside. Sean on starboard. Using the zoom. It's ick. Get tired of running. <laughs> I might get in shape if I keep running. Well, Sean and Peter show. What's going on? Now they switch sides. You can see where they crossed. Peter went outside, Sean went inside. Attack, attack again. They tack some more. As we dawdle upwind, not sure what's happening. Dawdling will continue till morale improves. Now Peter's powered up and going. Sean's parked. Peter, in his own wind, found the one patch of dark water on the lake, and Peter's in it. Where is Peter? There he is. Peter's gonna stay in that dark patch of water. He thought he'd tack out of it. He's like, nope, I'm staying where the dark stuff is. That's why Peter's one of the best sailors out here. He does everything well. What happened to Sean? Sean got rifled back to third, fourth, or fifth. We're not sure. No team sailing involved. Peter going over to say hi to Craig Mackey. How's B Rig doing, Craig? Craig knows some four-letter words, and it's not golf. Peter coming in. Coming in first. Sean Fiddler having a talk with himself about life decisions. Where he went from first to fourth. Mark Galson and Tony Gonzalez. Looks like Mark got it. Sean in fourth. Coming in hot. The gold V11. <laughs> Borrowed sails. <laughs> what are you giggling at, Chuck? Alright, they're all coming across now.
And we're off. Everybody fighting for the committee boat end is parked. And uh, Penn End is clean air all by themselves. Let's see how this plays out. Gary Winton attacking in the swirlies. Attacking back. Now all those committee boat ends are powered up and going, going fast. Four three, Dennis Rogers and the white rip pop on the outside. Gary Witten, five four. K2 out of Florida. Sean Fiddler, 91. Uh, Michigan. Mr. Gallison. Almost all the way up on one tack. A little tiny. Tiny tack to get over. When you're in front, you can come in on port. Five boat out front, followed by Peter Feldman, 4-4, four, four. Larry Grant, 85, and Jerry Warren Brower, of the great state of Washington, in a 4-2 boat, powered up, heading downwind. Head down to Leward Mark, we test the uh, limits of my hand-me-down camera, zoom action. Mark and Peter, neck and neck. Jerry slowed up a little bit. Sean Fiddler in the middle. Let's see where they go, inside or outside. And another A Fleet race brought to you Dan, by Dan did not promote.com. Taking uh, sailing lessons. Collecting funds for sailing lessons at bfleetblues.com. As Mark in the 5 5 boat rounds to the outside, Peter to the outside, Larry to the outside, Jerry to the outside. Another green boat, probably Gary Winton on the outside. Rest of the fleet go on the inside. Got one B rig. Everybody else switched to A. Water smoothed down. Not a great direction. Coming over our backs. But it does give us smooth water. There's Sean with a little indecisive tack. But these good guys can do the shimmy shimmy. Head back up wind. Let's see, Peter is kind of on the inside. We got Mark and 5 5 boat, Larry Grant making model sailing great again in the 8 5 boat. And we got Jerry Warren Brower in his buckskin colored V2, number 42. As Mark and Peter cross again. Took a different path, but we both made it there. Into the swirlies up by the windward mark. But when you're in the lead, you come in however you want. So everybody comes in on port. Mark in first. Peter 4-4 four, four in second. Steve Landau. That 
little contact there. Sail back downwind in oblivion. Larry does his turn. Sean Fiddler in the 91 outside. Mark Gallison and Peter hanging in there. Let's see Landau. Left side of the course, taking a ball in that inside mark. And we keep heading downwind here. And uh, Televoto Zoom contest. Mark has the outside. Five five green v eleven. Peter went inside. Peter wants it. He's not content with just falling Mark around the course. He's gonna go find some dark water, to make it happen. So Sean Fiddler has got in front of Jerry Brower. Jerry points higher than the rest of the guys as they head out greener pastures, Peters to the inside. Come back up wind, Mark just sailing all by himself. Front again. We got out there. Chris Chris Sullivan in the gray boat, 62. There Grant went after his penalty turn, still in the hunt. Jerry Brower getting a big lift. Larry figures he's got to come back someday. Tacks in. Peter worked the inside, not sure. He lost much, but he didn't figure out a way to get in front of Mark. So everybody comes in on port again. Oh, we're, not, we're going to the finish line, Dan. Learn how to count to two laps. It's our teeny tiny finish line. Mark has to get extra credit for the teeny tiny finish line. Exciting mark coming in. Peter in second, the 4 4 boat. And Grant way out there. Jerry Warren Brower coming in for third place in A Fleet. Nice job, Jerry. Jimmy Sears, man with a dream, getting on to starboard. 85, 85! I 